Columbia city leaders are taking action to tackle the traffic woes that have been causing headaches for residents in East Columbia. Specifically targeting key thoroughfares like Fort Jackson Boulevard, Garner's Ferry, Leesburg Road and Rosewood Drive. News 19's Becky Buds has more details. Often called the gateway into Columbia. About 50,000 cars travel along Garner's Ferry Road every day. It's growing. They build more apartments, more houses, um, stores, restaurants. More growth means more headaches for drivers. I'll like get behind a slow person or some like red lights that really just make me like 10 minutes late sometimes. I wait after rush hour. I go through neighborhoods and I, I try to find a different route. City leaders are looking at ways to tame traffic. Although widening Garner's Ferry Road isn't an option, they want to make the area safer for pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers. According to a recent study, there were 1,800 crashes in East Columbia from 2020 through 2022. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> Columbia City Councilman Peter Brown's district includes parts of Garner's Ferry Road. He says the city is encouraging pedestrian-friendly development and beautification projects. I think it's really trying to, to balance the growth and development with the quality of life issues. And, 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 you know, I think there's so much we can do. That area has got so much potential. But what could this mean for East Columbia's future? Imagine Beltline Boulevard and Forest Acres transformed from what it is now into this in just a few years. I love like a smaller coffee shop that's run by like a local places instead of like Starbucks. Reporting in Columbia, Becky Buds, News 19 WLTX. Well, this improvement plan is based partly on a safety analysis of East Columbia from 2020 through 2022. There were 1,850 crashes along the Garners Ferry Road area. There were two pedestrians killed and more than 400 people injured in crashes. 45% of those crashes were rear end collisions. The highest rate of crashes were at three Garners Ferry intersections, Hallbrook Drive, Atlas Road and the ramps onto and off of I-77.